Hi, my name is Mark Ambly. And I'm Connor Carroll. Today we're going to show you how to install an Anderson 400 series tilt wash window with the energy performance panel. So before we begin installing this unit, what we're going to do is finish prepping the rough opening. In order to do that, we're going to be using a flex wrap sill pan. The reason why we're using a flex wrap sill pan is because it provides a thermal break and it's very easy to work with. Okay, so I am just going to get the flex pan to the back inside edge of the rough opening and kind of lay it down into place. And like I was saying with this, you just want to make sure that when you get ready to use it, keep it in a warm area, climate, before you use it. So that way it's nice and flexible for you. And it allows you to get in nice and tight to the, to the inside opening. And then what we're going to do is we're going to roll out these corners. <coughs> I'm going to roll it here, but I usually find that it's usually just as easy to take my hand and kind of roll it out like so. Get those inside corners nice and tight there. Bring it over. And then as you bring it down on top of this house wrap here, it sticks nicely. And then we're just going to roll it out. Okay, one thing to note before you get ready to install the Anderson 400 series tilt wash unit with the energy performance panel is that the energy performance panel actually is installed inside the unit. So you need to make sure that you're taking a little bit extra care when you're moving these units around the job site. Okay, now that we got the unit out of the box, I want to show you a back sealant procedure on this unit that's commonly missed. Okay, so I just wanted to explain why we're doing this procedure. So you, as you can see on the tilt wash unit, that the flanges overlap here, okay? And also the void on the flange where it doesn't come all the way to the inside corner. So what we're doing is we're taking sealant and we're injecting into this area right here and then up and around the corner here. And as we do that, we're filling that area and then we just want to tool it back. So Anderson requires us to install their units using one of two methods, either the drainage method or the barrier method. Today we're going to be installing this unit demonstrating the barrier method, which will prevent any water from entering the rough opening at all. Okay, before we get to the Anderson barrier method install, I did want to talk a little bit about Anderson's installation sealant. So Anderson did a lot of R&D at the factory, and basically they formulated this sealant uh, to be used on their product, which works great. Okay, we're going to demonstrate it here with the barrier method. This installation sealant is also paintable and can be used on along with in exterior trim as well. So the first step of the barrier method install will be to apply a continuous quarter inch bead of sealant around the perimeter. Okay, before we get into the install of the window, I did want to talk a little bit about the shims that we're going to be using here today. So these black plastic shims, as you can see down here on the sill, are going to do a couple things for us. They're going to get the window up off the rough framing, okay? So that's going to allow the insulator, so when he gets ready to install, get it underneath the window. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to prevent, you know, if we get any settling on this unit, it's going to prevent the, the sill from crowning. The other thing that's good about it is that the, the, they're plastic, they're not going to absorb any water, and you don't have to worry about them, you know, wedging cedar shims in there that could be going at an angle. Um, these go in nice and flat, and they tie in nicely to the install. So now that we have our perimeter sealant and the shims on the sill, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to put the unit into the rough opening and then we're going to tack off one corner and then go to the inside and demonstrate how we would shim this unit before we fasten it off completely. Now that we have this unit tacked from the exterior, 
We're going to come to the inside and shim the interior on three locations. Three inches down from the header, the check rail, and three inches up from the sill. And we're going to be doing that in order to make sure that the unit remains level and square. Now that we have the unit properly shimmed off, we're going to go to the exterior, fasten off the rest of the unit, and then begin our flashing procedure. Now that we're back to the exterior of the unit, the next step we're going to make before we begin our flashing procedure will be to ensure that we nail off every single hole in the nailing flange. Now Mark, why is this so important? Con, a great question, and we often see it in the field too, right? So. Um, if, you're, if you only nail off every other hole, potentially what could happen is you might get the, the flange to fish mouth here a little bit, and that could be a cause for water or air infiltration getting in behind there. So um, with the new codes now and, and such, we need to embed this flange completely into the sealant that we put on here, right? So we want to make sure that we're nailing off every single hole. That way this flange is completely embedded and we're getting a great install. Okay, now that we've got the unit completely fastened on the exterior, I did want to cover the flashing procedures that we're going to be using on this product. Because we did the barrier method install, we're going, to, we're going to use flashing tape along the bottom and then one on each side. Now, we're going to be using the 3M flashing tape here today because it sticks well in all weather temperatures. It's got a split backing to it, and it's an easy install. So I did want to point out that um, when we are doing this flashing procedure that you're keeping the tape just to the edge of the window. You don't want to roll the flashing tape onto the window. You want to just keep it right to the edge of the window because we're going to be doing a sealant procedure, a perimeter sealant procedure around the whole unit. The next step we'll be making is adding a perimeter seal around the edge of the unit which will bond the flashing tape to the frame. So the final step before we finish off flashing this unit will be to add the drip cap. Now this drip cap will not be in the box of these individual TW units. They'll come to you lineal and they will have to be cut to size. Okay, so the drip cap has been installed, so the final part of this install is going to be to finish off the flashing of the uh, drip cap, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold down this Taipar house wrap, and we're going to tape it off on the edges, and that will complete our install. That concludes our video presentation for the installation of a 400 series tilt wash with the energy performance panel. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local sales associate. Thank you for watching.